Coach, well, obviously the question of 170 wins most in school history. How's it feel? I'm just happy about today's, you know, win and, and just having a chance to coach these guys. They've been, you know, they're still evolving and developing, but they've been a lot of fun to coach. Um, they care about each other. They care about this program. And, you know, the the wins and stuff is more about the, you know, the tradition, history, and the guys that have worn these uniforms for the last 50, 60 years. And these guys have built on that tradition, and it's, it's uh, an honor to be a part of it. And then, of course, seeing a lot of guys that had worn those uniforms in years past for the alumni weekend, how was that? It was, it's special. That's part of one of the reasons I just love uh, being a part of Braves basketball. You know, we've been blessed to have 50, 60, 70. I don't know how many we had today. Former players come back yearly and support these guys. Um, and it just means a lot. Our basketball family is big and strong. And then, question for each of you guys. How does it feel to be a part of this moment, helping uh, Ben Roy reach this plateau? I feel like it's pretty great. Definitely pushed us, and I don't even know if he knew that he was going to be a winning as coach coming into this game until we told him after we beat Augusta. So definitely a good feeling. Jimmy, uh, I just feel good because I was here when we weren't that good my freshman year. So just to see the progression of the program and how it's come along is, is pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I was here too for that. I mean, our well, freshman year we were real good, but it's it's been a long time coming. We've had a we've, we've had a lot of good seasons under him. I think since I've been here, we've had two twenty win seasons, and I, I, hopefully this one should end in the twenty plus win season too. Coach, when you think about that first year up to this moment, <laughs> getting the these guys set. didn't get to see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I seen that um, a lot. <laughs> when, you know, when you think about where you started and then now you guys yeah. twenty wins and, and two out of three years, what goes through? Well, it was, I mean, it was de definitely humbling those first couple of years. We won six games and then nine games. But even those guys, and you know, there were some here today that were part of that 6-9 win team. Marcus Heath was here for 6-9. And then year three, we got to 18 and made a little breakthrough getting to the NCAA tournament for the first time. So all those guys um, were a part of, you know, getting to this point, you know, winning a conference championship last year and being in contention to do that and, and hopefully more this year. But uh, the guys, these guys, the guys that were part of that team and the guys, the 67, 68 team are all part of where this program is now. Yeah, and you think about Coach Gain and Jim comes to as many games mm -hmm. as he can. Uh, what are some of the conversations you guys have had? Well, their whole family is special to me. You know, I've gotten to know, you know, not just Jim, but Dwight and the rest of the, you know, big family. Yeah. Uh, you know, Butch, he was my dentist here in town. Dwight's the golf pro. And so it is a real kind of folksy family atmosphere around here where you got that kind of support from uh, people like, you know, Lacey Gaines' family. And, you know, Lacey Gaines, a legend. Um, you know, the, he really was crucial along with all the other coaches here in terms of building and uh, having some very successful teams. You know, the few years before I got here, you know, wasn't great. But when you look back 15, 20 years, there was a lot of tradition. You look at the banners up in the gym. And so we knew, I think, uh, our staff and that the potential was here, the passion was here, just kind of reigniting it and then finding, you know, players like these guys that are willing to work and have a vision, um, you know, to work for things together and have a chance to compete for championships. And then, of course, guys, the, the game at hand, JB. Double-double, how, how did it feel producing today? I felt pretty good. Uh, I was pretty, out, coming into the game, I was pretty worried about my, my thumb. I messed it up in practice yesterday, so. Uh, I, I really didn't know I had any rebounds, but coach really pushed in our brains, really just crashed every time, so that's what we end up with sometimes. And they didn't want to get up at 7 a.m. <laughs> so they were, we did out, out rebound them by 10, so that was good. Yeah. Nigel, what did you think of the defensive effort down the stretch, especially that final eight-minute stretch for you guys when you kind of pulled away for good? Um, how'd it feel out there for you guys defensively as a unit? No, I definitely felt good. Uh, we started communicating more, getting more active. Uh, Coach definitely uh, told us that in the first half, come out with a uh, uh, be aggressive, come out with an edge, and that's what we did. And then, of course, the three-point shooting was a little off from both sides when it comes to at the end of the day. But you, you said it before we started coaching. Even when there can be an off night, it's still great when you can pick up a quality team win. How does it feel when you have guys like that that can do it? 
Yeah, you know, we didn't shoot it as well as we have, you know, sometimes. But the fact that uh, these guys, they have that confidence that even when it's not pretty, it's an ugly game. And Young Harris does a good job of kind of junking it up and making it ugly. They get a lot of steals. Um, they have confidence that our defense, our rebounding can kind of carry us through. Brandon, you're one of the guys that's been consistently talked about as a team leader. Um, you guys are in kind of a unique situation now where you're going to play another game on just a, a night's rest. How do you guys take that as a team in terms of just moving from one day to the next for another game in less than 24 hours? I mean, we just got, we just got to go with our trainer, Joe Tambiero, and get to the training room and get our rest. So. <laughs> awesome. We appreciate it, guys. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Get that rest. Good luck tomorrow. Good job, fellas.